And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some burn aggro. Been playing against this deck quite a bit and it's looked impressive. It's a very aggressive deck, uh, super aggressive deck. Like I guess, yeah, I guess the, the most ad aggressive deck in the format, um, you know, using a lot of units, you know, creatures trying to get the damage in, not really burn spells, which is why I don't really like the name burn aggro, but that's what it's referred to. But there are some burn spells. We have a couple of decimates at the top end, and then we have other direct damage. We have used cask salesman that can do some direct damage. I've been really impressed with this card. It's defensive abilities, getting two chump blockers out there that also hurt the opponent. Uh, then you have boom crew rookie, uh, legion grenadier, and legion saboteur. Those are all ways to do direct damage also. Um, and sometimes your one teemo can give them some puff caps um but yeah we're gonna give this a try you know we're still going with like the we're trying to go wide we got crowd favorites um uh, like i said the 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 salesman the crowd favorites house spiders we're going wide Battlecaster helps us out with going wide and uh trying to finish these games off as fast as possible but still having some some heavy hitters at the top end uh, with like the crowd favorite Darius. I love Vision. I think this card is awesome. Um, you know, whenever it's cast or discarded, it gets plus one, plus zero. It works amazing with Draven, with the spinning axes with Draven. It, it works amazing. So I, I love that combo. Um, so we got the three Visions in here too. All right, here we go. Some people play one jury rig, two Visions, but I just love, I think I love Visions. Yeah, absolutely, Fury. Yeah, you can... Uh, oh, let me let me update this deckless command. Speaking of deckless, all right. Here is our deckless command. Oh, edit that. There we go. Definitely want to get rid of those two. What about... I'll keep crowd favorite. We want lots of units. I'm actually here. Uh, reporting in? Um, charge? They're very aggressive too. Lucian Jinx. That's a cool combination. Won't get past me. That's a cool combination. I like that. I could, I could play some Lucian Jinx. First big mission. Oh wow, that's a great Boom Crew rookie. No one's the wiser. That card's so good, Boom Crew Rookie. Speaking of very good, we drew Draven to go along with our vision. Perfect. Push back the darkness. It's Draven time. They only have one mana. So yeah, I feel like they weren't going to be able to kill uh, Draven. Uh, what's better, Rookie and Battlecaster or Crowd Favorite? So Crowd Favorite, 6-5. Uh, Maybe Rookie and Battlecaster. Of course I'm ready. What you looking for? The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it!
Yeah, you need you need more one drops, and the the astute academic is a very good like. This deck's playing like the three like there's the three one drops you should be playing. Are like the three one drops that are in this deck. You should be playing all three of those one drops, and three copies of each. Uh, this one, that one, and then the the spider that has fearsome because that's a hard thing to to block also. What do you mean, Hada? Try to do the same thing? What do you mean? Don't duck on my account. So I can discard crowd favorite to kill Lucian. Okay, you're watching the stream while holding your dog. Okay, I gotcha. Nice, yeah, puppy's just on my lap. Got a puppy on my lap. Good card to draw. Yeah, there's still one mana cards, Fury. Like, you know, if you're... You even think about, like... Like, there's a real premium on playing one mana cards. In a super aggressive deck. Never see it coming. Boom. I'd recommend giving this, this version a try here, though, Fury. I think this is kind of like what... I think this is basically what you're looking you're for. Is Boom. this deck here. <laughs> quick attack they really are quick attack aggro Lucian Jinx both have quick attack this thing does I can definitely assume that they have um, Senna to go along with Lucian with some quick attack and decimates finish him out GG's. Alright, so we gotta win four more games to unlock that thing. We can do that. Still having the information about Callista Dawn speakers, I went straight into this. So I have to fill out some of that. Um, what do we got? All right, we have the Draven Vision combo. And the House Spider. I, I mean, I like those three, but I really want a one drop. Hope we find a one drop. Yeah. Perfect. Won't get past me. Right, won't get past me. Cook 
Okay, yeah, you're playing the, the discard burn with Draven and Jinx. Yeah, that's that's definitely a good one too. That's a fun one too. Yeah. That is that is fun, really like how you get to you really want to Push empty your hand target. with that deck. That's that's pretty neat. Yeah, it is, Draven. No room for doubt. It's Draven time. One banner, one destiny. Tag with all these spiders. Don't back down. Um. A yeah, a lot of times you just go for like. Don't duck on my account. This, like a. Um, I think this deck we're probably summoning first a lot of times in this deck, especially something that can make multiple bodies. This is going to be such a blowout. Now we're just killing everything of theirs. They thought they were making a block to save everything. I'm telling you, this vision card is insane. Draven vision, this combo. So good. So good. Get everything out of here. Yeah, I like Jinx too. That's a good. That is a fun champion to build around. I need to play some more Jinx. Jinx with other things besides just Noxus, like Jinx Demacia. Like that. That does sound pretty, pretty fun. No, my Draven. Draven out. All right, so they had a spell. Call this one Timo Noxus. Like this. In the name of our land. Sure about that? For the money makers. That seemed like a ill-advised attack. Can't have judgment. Don't worry about that. Fear is the first of many foes. Alright, nice quick 2-0. That was a pretty perfect hand that we had. The vision is pretty insane. <laughs> Saying Teemo is your favorite champion is proof that you've never played League. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have not played League. I've heard is I've heard Teemo's like annoying in League. That's what I've heard. That Teemo's annoying there. Armalux. All right, get rid of this, this. We need one drops. And now we need Dravens. And Decimates. And Boom Crew Rookie. And Darius. 
And turn one Teemo. Nope. I have my orders. Confine and contain. Yuck. I guess. Search then. Damn it. Keeps that from killing the three one, I guess. Wait, Teemo's almost always a liability. So, so like you're saying that like Teemo's not any good in League of Legends. I was thinking it was gonna be annoying because it was too good. Teemo's annoying because it's not any good. You have nothing to hide. Don't mind me. Investigating. I don't. You say he has a good kit. I don't know what that means. I don't. I don't know what the the kit thing is. Okay, his playstyle is just designed to annoy people. That's. It's not a good design. Seek and sight. So kit means skills. So I think here I'm just going to go straight to attacks. Instead of playing these two. Mm -hmm. I was kind of worried about that. They would just, just take all of it so I don't get to use these things. So maybe I should have gone play these. I don't know. They're at three. All we gotta do is figure out how to get one point of damage across. Shouldn't be too difficult. You know, because whenever this thing dies, it does too. So we just gotta figure out how to get one more point of damage. We will not stand by. Um, so they're they're gonna give this thing the barrier and life steal, but I can't. Can't stop that from happening. That doesn't scare me. Oh. Or they just attacked. What? Oh! Radiant Radiant Guardian champion thing. War is no game, brother. Right. Can they have Can they have Judgment with Radiant Guardian? And if so, how do I possibly beat that? Um, one. Six, two, four, five, six, yeah, so. Okay, nope. Okay, Teemo is currently tier A in ranked spawn of League of Legends. Let's do this. They probably weren't expecting their Radiant Guardian to die. It's my 2 2 whenever they're like, let's fight. But that's why Vision is great.
All right, we 3-0. 3-0 in 20 minutes. Fighting through Radiant Guardian and those fight spells and everything. Upload the thumbnail. Nope, nope, nope. Kind of want to keep the vision, but we have to find more units. I kind of wish I would have kept the vision. Alright, there we go. Vision's back. Reporting in. The rear guard is I'll reporting in. This time. Got a puppy on my lap. Legends of Runeterra. There it is. Alright. Publish the Callista Dawn Speakers. I can do this. All these other games we've had Draven, though, to go along with Vision. Vision is much better when you have Draven playing it for free. But it's still good. Lady Elise, where are you? Maybe this vision card isn't great every single time. Let's make it deep. No okay, ready. Ouch. Looks like we found our first loss. We'll see, maybe Darius can save us. Good hand, good hand, GG's. Mine is the hand of Noxus. So they attack out with everything. I'm blocking with the three one. I need to draw Legion Saboteur or Boom Crew Rookie. I need to draw one of those two cards. That's that's not it. Boom Crew Rookie would have been the best card to draw.
All right, picked up a loss. Yes. No, no ten and no. So we're not going ten zero. Done a very good job of finding the one drops. Turn one. Yeah, there we go. We have been doing a really good job of like our first turn drawing one drop. Like our, our opening hand doesn't have one and then turn then we draw one. Turn one. We've been doing that all the time. Worst case scenario is. I mean, it's just two damage. I'm gonna go for this, but worst case scenario is Bright Steel Protector, obviously. Yay. Let's make it deep. This is problematic. Oh, they're just gonna now they're just gonna rally and I'm dead. Oh, I hate this combination. I guess I have, I have a team out though. I'm not. I guess I'm not dead. I can, I can jump block with team out. In case of rally. Um. No, I mean I'm still dead in case of rally because. I jump block once and I take two and then, but you know, like the rally does, I guess only does nine. Okay, so we have two options. We play crowd favorite and then Darius next turn or we play decimate and then Darius. And I guess, well, if we do crowd favorite Darius, we can also have brother's bond available. So crowd favorite is five power right now. Five technically more than four, but they can also block this five. They can't block this four. But if we go crowd favorite, we also get to play Brothers Bond where we get that five plus we can get another four here with the Brothers Bond where we don't get the, we don't get the Brothers Bond with this. I hope they don't have rally. I of course could have could have traded could have tried to trade, but I feel like they do have rally. I feel like I felt like there's a better chance that they'd have a barrier than a rally, but uh, I guess I need to try to trade because at least it's not worst case scenario they don't just kill me. Like rally just kills me, but the barrier doesn't just kill me. Yeah, that was my first instinct was to trade. Should have just done it. But I was worried about, you know, we had to kill them the next turn, and trading there and using the Brothers Bond already was going to make it difficult to actually win the game. And so I didn't do it. It would make it a lot easier if we didn't.
There we go. I like it. Bunch of one drops. I like this more. I like having a ton of one drops. Okay, ready. Not good against Withering Whale. They're just going to turn three Withering Whale. It's not as good. I would have just gone straight to attacks, but now that we drew Battlecaster, we're playing that. Four one drops in a Battlecaster. Alright, yep, they're setting up Withering Whale. That's what that attack was all about. Oh, Brood Awakening. Never mind. That's better for me. That is much, much better for me. No, they do have Withering Whale. That's much worse for me. It's going to be difficult finishing this game out now. There's only the two decimates, so we don't we don't have another decimate to draw into. Ionia speaks through me. Lady where are you? A pretty present you make. All right, we need our direct damage. Legion Saboteur. Used cask salesman. That would be a good. That would be a good draw. What's your hurry? All right. Time to go. That's good. Now they could still have deny for decimate. I guess. I guess we now have to try to figure out how to play around Deny. They have so much life gain in their deck. I don't think I play around Deny. I think we go for it. Man, our hand was awesome, too. They just shut it down. Many that Withering Will in a single soul. won on the game. Talk about a good random spell to get. We need Dar Darius is my only hope. I need to draw Darius. Did 
It's my only hope. Come on, Darius. Alright, so as fast as we won those matches, we lost them just as fast. That seems like a tough matchup. That's two of our losses were that same um, Karma Spider deck, you know, with Withering Whale, and like they can go, they can go super wide also, just like I can. And, you know, Vile Feast, Hapless Aristocrat, like those kind of cards. And then, and then yeah, like I say, Withering Well and, and everything. That was... That seems like a tough matchup. That's two of our losses. Um, we got very close that game. Reporting in. With, uh, with the Decimate Lethal on the stack. but didn't quite get there. A chill in the air. Explosives bright. Stay back. Devit. I think that's a case with me having with me having crowd favor. That's probably a case where I should just attack immediately with the rear guard and then play the other two pre the other two post combat. Worst brothers bond. Hey, there's the real brothers bond. No, you cannot. Uh, you cannot reduce in rank. Whatever rank you are, you can't go to the the next rank. You know, if you're gold right now, you can't go back to silver. Or at least, I guess that's kind of accurate. Once, once you are, um, once you're at platinum or higher, if if you, I think, or diamond or higher or something like that, or maybe maybe even just master's rank, if you don't play for a long time, you can have your rank decay like if you don't play for like a month or something i don't i think there's something about that i think that's a thing Strength above all. I guess we're really doing this. but unclear Bitter cold. so yeah exactly so that's why i played the darius is because i felt like they were going to have harsh winds and so I felt like it was free to play the Darius. Though that was their most likely play was Harsh Winds. The frost revealed all to me. Nothing 
escapes my way. What? For the homestead. Makes more sense. The shaman blocking made no sense. Fight as one. Very possible they survive here. They would need another frost frost harsh winds. They need another harsh winds and frostbite. One of the two things. Fortunately they do. Bitter cold. I gotta do two more damage. They have four puff caps out of 26 cards. They have a, about a 15% chance of drawing a puff cap. It's not a good draw right now because it, it, you know, all we have to do is connect with one of these. It's not like we need this pump if anything connects. My aim is true. Ash is a cool champion. Timo, you ready for battle? The arrow flies. <laughs> Not and ready. Avarosans, stand together. Why would they target the Legion rear guard? That thing can't block anyway. They just. And you're just trying to entice me into blocking with the elus elusive unit. Of course I'm ready. That's a great draw, Boom Crew Rookie. Three. All right, let's go. Let's go on another three-game win streak. We got three-game win streak, three-game lose losing streak. Now let's go on a three-game winning streak. We gotta win our next two as well.
Are there any cards currently that aren't very fun to play against? Um, I I think like probably like Ezreal. I don't know, like you know, you're at like twenty life, and they just play Ezreal, and then you're just dead. I'd say Ezreal's probably my my least favorite card to play against. But that's the thing, it's they've done a really good job about that. Um, you know, compared to like playing Magic where there's so many different cards that you don't want to play against that aren't very fun. It's it's like kinda everything. See, putting the, the salesman back, but they should be attacking quite a bit. And salesman can get some good blockers. Karmas, make your tummy ache. No, don't scratch. No scratch. No scratch. This thing doesn't have Challenger yet. Now oh, it does. So they get they can get a free kill on this. That's it's pretty annoying. I mean, I can use Brothers Bond, but all Brothers Bond would do would just kill that. I'm at least playing the the Grenadier, so they want to. Yeah, you know, they'd have to trade Warshafts for Grenadier if they want to. Uh, get the free kill, which they should. Yeah, that's that's a trade they should make. Can't bite on an empty stomach. All right, not off to a great start. Backfired. I should not have blocked those. Or I should. I guess I shouldn't have attacked into the warships. Oh my gosh, we have Draven in our deck? I forgot about that. Oh, Draven is awesome. It has been so long. I, yeah, We haven't seen Draven in the last four, four games at all. I forgot. Okay, well, Draven's good. I forgot, that was like our first couple of games. We were just always playing Draven on turn three and killing our opponent. And then, yeah. It's just been a long time. <laughs> that was a half hour ago, the last time we drew a Draven. Even with all the mulligans and everything. Sorry, right, we took two cards. Let's 
So how am I gonna get like the biggest? Oh man, that's good. Oh, that's a great card to play right here. Because that punishes me for not playing anything into their attack. Wow, that's like a card that hardly anybody plays, but it's perfect to play right now. Jinx is good, Valentino. I don't... What do you mean? Jinx is really good. Won't get past me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're just not drawing her. Gotcha. So it's hard to win, yeah. I I understand. Okay, I understand now. You're saying, like, same thing happened to you. You just forgot you had Jinx in your deck because so you didn't ever draw it. The people are my strength. I gotcha. Would have been good to, to have a two drop. To be able to play, you know, play two drop, then play crowd favorites. But, oh well. So they're trying the whole Katarina thing over here. Pretty interesting, you know, like we were talking about before, trying to make Katarina work. So they're trying it with the with the attack stuff, you know, like where you need where you want more attacks with like first blade, Marauder, like these things growing each time you attack. And then wanting more attacks. Uh, sorry, my mouse. There we go. Another step. So, kind of expecting barrier cards. But I'm still going to go all in on, on the, they all trade. Instead of, you know, I could be pumping crowd favorites, but I want to try to get all the trades I can. Okay, if you've already attacked twice with the Legion Marauder, then I use a card that puts more copies of an ally in your deck. Do they have the pump as well? It's a good question, and I honestly don't know. You know, like, so, so you know, you've, you've already attacked you know, with your Legion Marauder twice, and then you use, like, counterfeit copies or something like that that puts more copies in. I don't know. I don't know if those keep the buff also. Um, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I, don't, I honestly don't know the answer to that. Yeah, dude, I changed the name because I, I don't want... I wanted to have a Twitch name that didn't have any, any games in the Twitch name. You know, before I had MTG in my Twitch name, I don't want any... Any game in my Twitch. <laughs> That's true. The poros that get spawned. Okay, so it does say everywhere. So that means that means ones that haven't even been made yet. Like that's that's the thing is like you know like these are, we're talking about like ones that haven't been made yet. Um, but yeah, like the poro cards. Like whenever you make poros. 
you know, later on, they'll get the buffs from the Poro Snacks. Stop. Stop clawing at the chair. Stop. You're driving me crazy, Harvey. No. I guess I'm maybe supposed to just try to trade this. That was absolute worst case scenario with uh, doing that, um, with blocking with that that thing. Because obviously they're just going to be playing Katarina again. So like I could have just blocked with this zero power, but. That was the worst case scenario is them having prisma, you know, prismatic barrier and in the barrier there. So they're just not going to attack. Justice by my hand. Well, that thing can attack, sure. Wish I would have a 6-5, because so, the 6-5 would get blocked here, a 3-2 would get blocked here, and then we would have two creatures delivering lethal. Twenty-eight cards left. I think they just draw. No one's the wiser. Stop for strength. Draw three puff caps. I really wish I would have just jump locked. But, oh well. Also, looks like they have a spell, so they could have maybe, you know, tried. They could have maybe blown up a lethal attack that I would have tried. All right, come on, three of those five puff caps on the top card. Let's go. I feel like their card in hand is Rally. If they're just sitting here thinking about it, like, what spell would they... What kind of spell would they... You know, it's, it's a spell, because they're... They flashed it being a spell in the middle, what kind of spell would they maybe not want to cast? There's no, there's no me blocking out of that. All right, we're four and four. Because I have to chump block both of those, and then they replay Callista, and then I have to chump block the two again. 
because then they attack with every, you know, all three, and I, so I have to jump block the two again. And then they just untap and attack, and I lose. I don't have anything left. Stop. Our deck needs more burn spells, doesn't it? And it needs to draw Dravens more. Less Brothers Bond, more Mystic Shot. Oh, that, that's true. Three puff caps to the top card were still an out. I guess that's true. That's that's a good point. Time for the main event. Yeah, I should have just seen if they draw the three puff caps to the top card. tired. I had a... Was an active day today. And so I've been wearing down here. Alright, we're going to be kind of attacking with everything, hoping uh, hoping no Static Shock. And we'll just be attacking with everything. We have the Brothers Bond, Spinning Axe, who decimates a good draw. Yeah, now we, I just want spells to, to help finish them off. That's even worse than Static Shock. That's just worse. That's why we need less... Less Brothers Bonds. These Brothers Bonds have not been good. Uh, it doesn't... Doesn't matter. Well, they got five cards. I got three. We have the stun, the stun spider. Uses my mana a whole lot better to play this this turn than than these other things. 
Uh, next turn, you know, we can play House Spider and Decimate and still have three extra mana. For another House Spider. Obviously, I don't want them to have the, the stun stuff. Um, that's a good sign, so they don't have a stun spider. It's a good sign. Playing this pre-combat, flip Darius. Hopefully this is enough. Hopefully it's enough. Hey buddy, what now we're cooking. Okay. So not quite put him down to two though. And so all we gotta do is find something to do two damage. And they just got one card left with a couple spinning axes. Um just gotta find two more points of damage. Is this it? Is this the precious two points? Oh no. Static Shock would be so bad. Please don't have Static Shock. Well, I can kind of protect against Static Shock by blocking. Yeah, I, I just don't think it's I don't think it's really possible that they have no no removal whatsoever and that my ten one was just gonna attack them. That like these these four cards that none of them were gonna be a removal spell. I just find that very hard to believe. And instead of me taking you know, that, that eight damage can be you know, that could be the difference. Like that four damage instead of taking that four that could be the difference. And now, um, now they don't have, you know, like we get rid of that 4 3, so like that, it gives us more, it buys us more time to find something to do 2 damage. It buys us more time, because if we're just taking 4 damage there, we're going to be dead very, very soon. Well, that's going to make it difficult for them to to kill me. They only got three mana. Will it? Or, oh, no, maybe not. I guess I, guess I am dead, aren't I? Four. Yeah, Mystic Shot kills me now. Yeah, never mind.
those progress days were awesome. Obviously, I, I had the, the choice to not block and then try to have the 10-1 Trampler. Um, but like I've been saying, I I don't believe that that would have worked. But for how these games have played out, it does seem that people are very, very ready for go wide decks. Metagame does not look very good towards go wide decks, and I, I feel like we need to have less of the go wide stuff and more direct damage. We need more removal spells, so maybe in that sense, the discard aggro would be in a better spot, because that deck focuses more on removal spells. Of course I'm ready. Or, you know, just even burn spells in general. Maybe put some decimates in there. Decimate has been very good for us. Because, see, like, like, look at this. You know, like, this is the third time we've played against this deck now. And the other two games we played against this, our opponent's deck, we had no shot. And, well, we, we had one. We had a little bit of a shot, I guess. In one of them. But, like, look at these, you know, all these hapless aristocrats and vile feasts. And then they have Withering Whale. And... And, you know, they're going wide with Brood Awakening also. It's just too difficult to get damage in on the ground. I have like the Decimates, though. They've looked good. The Vision was amazing when we had Draven. But... And all these other games where we haven't had Draven, Vision has not been good. It's been a dead card. Like Vision and, and Brothers Bond. Where are you? Those have been dead cards. They're going wider than us. Yeah, Brothers Bond's been pretty dead for you as well. Yeah, I think I think that card's a trap. I don't think that card's any good. I think it just wins you games that you can win with other cards. I agree, Brothers Bond. Backfired. Not good. Not good. Ionia speaks through me. I could have cast it there just to do to do two points of damage. You know, I could have had it basically turn it into a mystic shot. Um hoping to do a little bit more with it with this Darius, but it's possible it never gets to be that good. Possible, I should have just cast, cashed it in as Mystic Shot.
Well, Dustmate's been good. Because, see, people will go down to, like, six life thinking they're safe. Not so much. Alright, so we ended five and five. Disappointing after the first three. It was, it was looking like we were going to be steamrolling after those first three matches. And then not so much after that. But we did get our five wins, so we get this chest. Let's see what, what we got in this chest. It's a platinum chest. What does that mean? It means we get a bunch of extra copies of commons. Hey, got a couple of rares. Okay, I need these rares. Very good. Cool. Yeah, Decimate... I think Decimate's good. So, with the, the deck... Um, as we talked about, when you have Draven, Vision is amazing. When you don't have Draven, it's not too good. Um, but... It did feel like just go, focusing on going wide, which is what this deck does, is in a rough spot right now. So, like, maybe you don't play, like, no crowd, like, crowd favorite wasn't amazing for us. Like, maybe no crowd favorite, no vision, no, no Brothers Bond, no Arena Battlecaster. And I would still want to keep the used cast salesman because those do direct damage, and Decimate does direct damage. I would want to keep that. Um, but then, yeah, find find other ways to kind of do do direct damage. You know, then instead of those kind of cards, maybe we could be playing as we talked about, like Mystic Shot, um, get excited, things like that. Instead. Um. Yeah, like I could see doing that. Anyway, something to kind of think about. Um, yeah, there's a burn aggro. Those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, let me know what you've been doing with with this archetype. Like, there's there's a lot of small, you know, slight variations of PNZ and Noxus aggro, and you know we've played a whole bunch of them. Uh, you know, there's yeah, so there's just tons and tons and tons of different um variations but if you're you know like if you're playing this this kind of deck later uh when you're watching this later on youtube let me know and uh feel free to put put your uh deck code down below or you know like let me know how it's going for you but anyway also hit that like button but that's it here for burn aggro so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video